Hej, hej. Listen to the new Cardi. Did Cardi drop some new tracks? Yeah, we'll talk about the dream stuff. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Duncan. Thanks for the membership. No thanks, and all of uh, Olivia, and Carlos. I actually liked Future Diary. I know a lot of people didn't, but I remember enjoying it. Granted, it's been a really long time since I've seen it. So, maybe I'd hate it now. I don't really know. Geometry Dash 2.2 .2 is out. Is it? Oh, yeah. Came out 19 hours ago. Maybe we'll play that a little bit later tonight. I don't even remember the last time I played Geometry Dash. Thanks, Angel. Thanks for the membership, Mario guy. Thanks for the resub, Frosty, Hammy, and Sunny. And Bud. And Onion. Membership, Sean. And the resub, Worm. You can play a First Descendant when it comes out. Which game is that again? Isn't that the one that just had the beta? We're going to talk a little bit about the dream response. I haven't watched all of it yet, but I watched the part that I'm in. Thanks to the resub juicer. And Pelican. And the resub Adrian. You caught up in Jujutsu Kaisen? Yeah, of course I am. Thanks to Tier 1 Eggy. The membership ace. Thanks. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Thanks for the 20 gifted members, Alex. God damn. Thanks for the huge drop. Thanks for resub line. That was wholesome. Thanks, Alyssa. Thanks for the membership, Jay. I know. I found a gray shirt in my closet the other day. And I was like, damn. I didn't even know I had this, so I put it into my rotation of shirts. Thanks, Resub Goddess. I actually upgraded my whole wardrobe recently. So you're going to see a, a very stylish Charles occasionally. Probably not in videos or on stream or anything, but out in the wild. Thanks for five gift subs, Lethargic. Appreciate it. And I did see Schlatt sing My Way. It's extremely good. Thanks for membership clockwork. I'm assuming you know about the Jonathan Majors stuff. Yes, I did see that. There's a new God Slap coming out. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it out before Christmas, so it is going to be first part of January for issue 5. Did you see Max Payne VA died? I did. That was very sad. Thanks to Risa Babadook, Juice, and Tier 1 Bulletproof. And yeah, I did hear about it. With... That one's terrifying. Thanks to Risa Atrocious and Monado, and the 5 Goose subs Twitch unavailable. Ooh, thanks for the big drop, Curly. Rebel Moon details it's a whole new universe that's going to be tied in with movies, TVs, comics, animation, video games, and books. It's based off of a pitch Snyder pitch to Lucas Films, but was declined. Cool. Thanks to Tier 1 Docs. 
That's interesting. I'm excited to watch it. There's a five lance lot in the resub skeleton. And yeah, I've seen the the Xbox Twitters. <laughs> Any new games on your radar? I don't even know what new games are around the corner. Thanks to the uh, membership, Mason. The tier one Kringle and the resub Squid and gift sub Sleeper. And the resub Juicy Ham. I don't know. I haven't watched the whole thing yet, Adrian. We'll talk about it in a minute. Thanks to the resub and the Prime Omarion. Red Thread is an unexpected hit. Love the show. That's super sweet. Glad you like it. I've been really enjoying doing Red Thread with Windagoon and Jackson. Our third episode we just filmed today. It's on Heaven's Gate. That's our longest one yet. That was our deepest dive. I'm sure most of you know at least the bare bones of Heaven's Gate. Such an unreal situation with that. Things are resub Nikki. And the tier one. Nilge. Any games I recommend speedrunning on PlayStation? I'm not sure. I don't know what's available on PlayStation because I do everything on uh, PC. Did you see about the police officer that drove into a restaurant and arrested the owner? Thanks to the membership, Dragon. Like, he crashed his car through the restaurant? Two videos, lots of questions after police SUV crashes in the St. Louis bar. Owner arrested. Man, what? <laughs> You're under arrest for putting this restaurant in the front of my SUV cruiser. You're in violation. Sounds like a Looney Tunes trap, like Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. Where they paint like a, a tunnel on a wall and then just crash into it. I'm with the law firm Kazali Worsh. And Worsh is spelled W-Y-R-S-C-H. And I'm here with James Pence, P-E-N-C-E. -E. So just wanted to give you guys an update on what's well, happening Well, thanks for today. that, Kona. Um, uh, no, nothing special. This morning, thanks for your well. to court um, after having watched the video and went to the prosecutor's office and said that we wanted an agreement that... Um, Can I see the footage? Is okay, no footage here. Where's the footage? Oh, here we go. Two videos shared on Tuesday by an attorney for a South St. Louis bar owner show a police SUV crashing into the bar and part of the aftermath that led to the bar owner being arrested on charges of assault and resisting arrest. Oh, so the charges were separate from the crash. So this guy was just scooting in sideways like an action movie scene. The videos clear up some questions about what happened early Monday outside of the bar. Uh, bar PM, popular gay bar in the city's Carondale neighborhood. I'm sure I butchered that name, but they produced several more. The bar owner, the bar's co-owner, Chad Morris, was charged with third-degree assault and misdemeanor resisting arrest after the crash. Police claimed he pushed an officer and ran from them. Let's see what the footage. Oh my god! It is impossible to use the internet without an ad block these days. But I can't go on these websites with one on anymore. Christ. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. He didn't even really... Man. I can't even rewind the video because now I'm getting another ad. He didn't even get far into the restaurant. This is like an advertisement for whoever makes that door threshold, like the door frame. Fucking blocked the full speed police SUV. He bounced off of it. What is that made out of? Titanium? Adamantium? Like, look at this. It actually bounces the SUV back instead of crashing through the glass. It, that's impressive engineering. What a good build. 
What's your favorite cookie? Oreos. Thanks to the Prime Chug and the Resub Lamissa and the Gift Sub Bella. So did the officer explain why he tried to crash through the front of the restaurant? Because at first I thought it'd be an accident, but this clear this is clearly deliberate. He made no attempt to slow down or anything, really, it doesn't seem like. He just zooms through like it's GTA Online. It's insane the car is flying, Kazeli said on Tuesday. If I did this, I would be cited. It's unclear why the SUV swerved. James Pence, Morris' husband and, off and another co-owner of the bar said police initially told him they had to swerve to miss a dog. Officers later recanted and said they swerved to miss a parked car. The same explanation that p police gave reporters. This parked car? Brother, I got news for you. If you have to swerve to miss this parked car, you shouldn't be behind the wheel. It's, it's a parked car on a road with literally nothing on it. This is like the road outside of Courage the Cowardly Dog's house. There is nothing here. So if you had to swerve to miss this, you're either drunk driving or a terrible driver. Thanks to Tier 1 Drizzle and the Tier 1 Lindsay and the resub RJ and Tim. He's a hero, don't you get it? <laughs> True, I guess. I didn't even think of that. This is quite the uh, stunt. Though I guess he's already out of control. Like for some reason it looks like he's already lost control of the vehicle because he is kind of beelining towards that car. So maybe he really did swerve to miss it. I don't know why he tried to throw in a dog excuse. But why is he already losing control of his vehicle? Yeah, I just heard Geometry Dash, Geometry Dash 2.2 came out. Might play it later. Police did not respond to multiple requests for more information about the incident and Kazeli's accusations. They denied a sunshine request for dash cam footage of the incident, citing an active investigation. Man, that dash cam's going to go hard. This is the aftermath. Looks like all of the framing's made out of wood. That's some strong wood. Mahogany, no doubt. Didn't even... The door didn't even budge. Didn't even make it to the door. This fine hard wood stopped it. Wow. Didn't even break the glass on it. Thanks for your sub Signari and Yibi. Yeah, we're gonna go over the dream stuff in just a minute. Holy shit, calm down. Where's the one that includes sound? In the video, which includes sound, Pence is seen confronting officers about crashing into his bar. Where's that? I want to see that video. Why didn't they put it in this article? Thanks, Jacob. Thanks to membership, Joshua. Yeah, I guess I'll find it later. What an interesting stunt from the officer, though. And I haven't seen the latest one from that, Sila. You hear about the little drama with content creators being paid off by Gearbox to say positive things about the game and its issues. Which game? I think it's a tier 1 Mayo and the Prime Timmy and the Resub East. So I haven't finished the Dream upload yet. I was going to watch it before bed. But I did watch the part where I'm in it. So this section. I see some people. This is where he's going over the critique I've made on him for quite a while about posting thirst traps and leaning into parasocial relationships. I'll let him play the clip. This is from a video I made like a month or so ago. Always been on the younger side of things and yet Dream constantly engages with them in very inappropriate ways, such as like posting thirst traps. He So he cuts out one of my biggest points here. I don't know if he did it on purpose or not or if he just didn't think it was relevant, even though I think it's a very relevant point. 
I also went on to say that he fosters parasocial relationships, which makes it weird to post that kind of stuff. And what I mean by that is by encouraging a parasocial relationship with your community, when you're posting things that can be construed as thirst traps, you just feed into the fantasy, and I think that's pretty irresponsible. So he cuts that part out and focuses more on me just saying he's posting thirst traps and him proving he doesn't. And I think, to be fair, like, I guess some of the pictures I saw weren't really his. He posts, like, just Snapchat shit, whereas what I kept seeing from him were, like, the thirst trap ones where it's like, I'm the cutest guy in the world. Apparently that wasn't him. That was one of his mini imposters, and this one was verified. So fair enough, I guess, if those weren't really his thirst trap posts. But even still, I don't really like that he cut out my bigger point about it being like fostering parasocial relationships and how it feeds into it, but he did defend himself against my critique of thirst trapping. But I haven't seen the rest of it. I watched up till this point because I was very curious why I was in it. Thanks the resub snitch. He also showed age statistics, which means nothing nowadays. Yeah, age demographic statistics are completely meaningless to everyone except for advertisers. No one is honest about their age when signing up for an account. I, I put no stock into that. Granted, you have nothing else to base anything off of, like anything else off of, but everyone knows that's a bunch of baloney. I, I think it's very clear to anyone that's familiar with the Minecraft community that it skews extremely young. No matter what the age demographics say. Thanks, Arisa Dylan. He addresses the parasocial stuff later in the video. Oh, like I said, I haven't finished it. I just watched the thirst trap stuff. But my point in here had the parasocial stuff there. Does he talk about that later? And he just moved it to a different section? I don't really know. Yeah, it's brought up again later with you in it. Oh. Okay, well, I'll just have to finish it for the rest of it. But yeah, I haven't watched all of it at the moment. I've seen a lot of discussion on Twitter about it. Mudahar said it was super good. I think Dark Viper also gave his opinion on it, citing, citing that it was a pretty solid response as well. Outside of that, I've seen other people say it's like the worst response they've ever seen. Like, it's all over the place. Things would give some Eddie. But I'm not far enough to have an actual opinion on it yet. I have to finish it tonight. <laughs> I do know he did one thing that kind of, like, clowned Twitter itself. He made a point about how easy it is to fake, like, a DM or something. So he faked a Pokimane DM, and a lot of those drama accounts on Twitter immediately ran with it as if it was real. And they have, like, 50k likes about, like, look at what Pokimane admitted to Dream. Dream just exposed Pokimane. And then also did that to XQC. So, proving that point instantly. Your Instagram gets brought up in it. No, I saw that whole section. Like I said, I saw this whole section with me in it. So, when he compares our Instagrams, he said, basically, he posts the same things I do. So, he puts them side by side. But again, I do think there's a big difference, which he also admits in our audience ages as well as our interaction with them. I, for 17 years, have actively discouraged any type of parasocial relationship at all. I set the hardest fucking boundaries possible, whereas he is very open and literally asks his audience to do weird things very parasocially. I remember at one point, like, shipping was huge in the community and all that, so I do think there is still a big difference there. Even though the pictures themselves, like, yeah, super similar. But I need to finish the whole video. If he does bring up the parasocial stuff that I was talking about, then I definitely need to get the rest of that. And the whole situation. I haven't finished it, like I said. Thanks in the membership, Lindsay.
Yeah, like I said, I'll probably do 2.2 later tonight. That does sound pretty fun to give it a whirl. And thanks for that, Riley. I appreciate it. Any reason for the gray shirt and hair back? Hair back because I'm trying to get used to doing it more often. Because I know my hair looks better when it's not just <laughs> messily down. And gray shirt because I found it in my closet. You should look at the McKamey Manor. Oh, I know all about the McKamey Manor stuff. I've known about that for a very long time. Made a whole video on the Insomniac leaks. I feel really bad for the developer. And no, I didn't see that exact though who posted it. No, I'm not, Christopher. Do you see Mitten Squad died? Is that confirmed? Because I saw quite a few people talking about it earlier. But I thought it was still speculation. If that's true, then that is extremely sad. Here, I'll look it up. Right now there's only two articles, one from the U.S. Sun, which I think is just a tabloid, and then one from VG247. There's an obituary. Oh, so it's real then. That's extremely sad. Damn, yeah, looks like you're right. Fuck, that's terrible. Well, that's a very sad situation. Yeah, I saw people talk about it earlier, but I thought it was still speculation. Thanks to Resub Gunny and Sakito. And Resub Jennifer. <laughs> Gotta wear Valhalla today? Nah, I'll probably do 2.2 .2 tonight. Just came out. Thanks to Resub Bunny. Thanks, Guinea. Yeah, just talked about the dream video. Just rewind the stream. Like, literally 10 minutes. We were just talking about it. I haven't finished the video yet, so I can't talk about the whole thing. Just the part that I'm in. Thanks, Risa Brum. And now nah, we don't do that, Giga Chad. It was by Soggy Serial. Alright. Thanks, Risa Synchronized. Did you talk about the Lola Bunny drama? Was there new Lola Bunny drama? What, they make her super hot again? Is Resub Celis. Did you see Ruby? Did you see Jesus? Did you see the Ruby Rose charges yet that she pled guilty to? What is happening? What do you mean another Ruby Rose situation? What? Huh?
I don't see anything about that. Are you just lying to me? Are you making shit up? Telling fibs? Yeah, I don't see anything about Ruby Rose pleading guilty to any charges. I don't know, Quantum. I feel like I'd lose. Oh, did you mean Ruby Frank? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, okay, that's very different. Yeah, yeah, this I have been keeping my eye on. Yeah, Ruby Rose is someone totally different than Ruby Frank, brother. <laughs> Good lord. Here, I'll pull it up. Oh, this, yeah. The child abuse YouTuber. So the story is still ongoing, but she has pled guilty now. Only to four counts. Well, four out of six, yeah. The court revealed that she put honey and cayenne peppers on the kids' sores. It's fucked up. Whoa, I didn't see that in the article I read. Is that on this one? Frank and her husband Kevin rose to prominence through the Channel 8 passengers, which portrayed their strict parenting style. Frank's lawyers previously signaled in a, sta signaled in a statement reported by People. She pled guilty in court on Monday. Okay, so it's not in this article. This one's mainly just about her pleading guilty. But yeah, her sentencing is in January. Also, the sentencing will be left up to the judge in prison time as possible. Prison time should be guaranteed. It's a membership of lease. She was abusing her children. This is a prime audio. I just saw that pop up Team Green actually. I haven't watched it though. I don't really watch the NFL super often so I did not see what happened with the Bears. She makes it seem like she got tricked into abusing her children. I remember she tried to pin most of it on Jody. Pretty much claiming that Jody was the mastermind behind all of it. I do know that, which is no excuse, like that, that shouldn't get her out of any of this, she's still a child abusing piece of shit. Glad you like it Kyle. Did you see the new allegations about the completionist from Rosanna Pansino? No, I didn't. When did that come up? I appreciate the 20, Brandy, but no, I don't I do not do that on stream. You can't say I've seen it, Brian. You see the news about the One Piece Netflix anime remake. Is that the Wit Studio one? Yeah. I didn't know this was Netflix, though, but I did see this on Twitter. They're remaking the anime. Just East Blue, I think, right? Yeah. Looks like East Blue from Wit. I, I think that'll probably bang. That's a great studio.
You ever watched the Making Halo 2 doc? Seem oh yeah. Are you talking about the one that came in the Collector's Edition? Because I watched that religiously. Oh my god, yeah. Thanks to the membership mill and the resub meet. You see the mayor in Dalton? No, but you did just remind me. There was that senator that filmed porn at, uh, in the Senate, right? And then posted it online, recently got fired. I did see that from a few days ago. That was kind of wild. It wasn't a senator. Or, no, yeah, you're right. It was like a uh, assistant or like a senator's aide or something. I don't remember. But it, it was someone in the department filmed a porno <laughs> at Senate and then posted it. And no, I have not shizzing. You coming to Megacon Orlando? No, nah, I don't think so. Hope you enjoy it though, Jay. Thanks for the membership, Brady and Lily. You gonna know, moist meter the new Wonka movie? Nah. Thanks for your sub I saw it last week with Aaron. I didn't really like it, but I don't have a whole lot to say about it. I never caught up like with the full depth of the Illuminati situation. All I know is that I've never seen a channel go from as popular as she is to where she is now. So she must have done some really deplorable stuff. I know it started when she accused Legal Eagle of plagiarizing her editing style, got biblically fucking clowned on for it, and then from there a ton of people came forward revealing how toxic and mean she is behind the scenes. And then she recently had a whole special segment in H-Bomber's video on plagiarism. And then she also got an entire video from H-Bomber specifically on her plagiarism. Because all the shit she does is basically lifted from like articles or documentaries. But other than that I haven't dove into like the five or six hours worth of cumulative like trash she has done. It's a lot. But what's very interesting is she still continues posting as if nothing happened. So I wanted to All she did was turn off comments and she just puts her head down and grinds. Ignoring all of it. And I know, just talked about that loan that is super sad. Top 5 workout exercises? Are you asking me? Are you telling me to like look it up? Thanks to tier 1 D4. And I did hear about that frisky. What if it's another AI YouTuber? That, I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like if anyone's going to try and replace themselves with AI, it'll be Illuminati at this point because her name is Mud. Like, she is, she is ruined. <laughs> like, nobody, like, supports her. So, she would definitely stand to benefit from buying Quibble Cop's AI keys to the kingdom and make herself an AI tuber. <clears throat> Exit Prime Ryan and JP. And definitely not Blaze. It's Sunny V2 with a voice changer. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make you a prediction. Here's what I think. I think Illuminati will continue this trajectory for maybe six more months tops. After that, she's going to start another channel using an AI voice model in order to keep doing these same kind of videos, but start fresh and hope and hope people don't connect her to it. That's my guess. Thanks to Tier 1 Eric. Because before all of this came to light, she was getting like 100 to 300k views per video. Then everyone learned that she's an absolute insufferable person that's done horrible things apparently. And now no one watches her. But... If she did the same shtick with an AI voice on a fresh channel, she'd probably get away with it. So that's what I think she'll do. Thanks for the membership, Rev. 
I do love deep op deep ocean mysteries. Thanks for the gift sub pickles. Resub Oreo. What did she do? I like I just said, it is so much <laughs> to cover. I I never even took the full plunge. It's just she's this reoccurring villain every three weeks or so there's new information about something fucked up she's done or is doing it just it, it's this constant snowball that never runs out of snow gathering steam i don't think it'll change the release window alucard hey windigoon good to see ya Better for her to just call Saul? Nah, she's gonna need to get herself a Hoover. <laughs> like, she's gotta relocate and disappear. Like I said, my prediction, I really do stand by it. I think she will probably, in six months' time, make a new channel, AI voice, make the exact same content, and just start fresh. Thanks to membership, Krunks. Thanks to the Prime Bean. And the resub GG. Hey, I can't make her situation any worse. Well, like I said, it'd have to be a completely new channel. She, I, I don't think she can pivot from here. It'd have to be somewhere else. Check out the Oz Media stuff. He talks about it. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. Oz Media is one of them that like has a ton of information on the Illuminati lore. Like I said, H Bomber made a whole video dedicated to like the plagiarism aspect of it in particular. Then there's other people that have come forward with more and more lore about the things she did behind the scenes and just how awful she was. Is Thanks there some Mamba and Pookie? Things in the membership stranded. We see Xfinity got hacked? I did not. When did that happen? Thanks to the membership doomed. Hope you're enjoying Monster Hunter. Did you watch the released call by Muda on open hand? Not all of it. I started it. But not all of it. These are the gift sub pickles and the five members, Chris. Yeah, we talked about the dream stuff. Just rewind the stream. It was like 20 minutes ago now, ish. You see the guy who sued Amazon for Rings of Power lost the lawsuit and now owes the Tolkien estate 134k? I remember the lawsuit. I didn't know he lost. I mean, I knew he was going to lose, but I didn't know it already happened. Rough. Tolkien gets richer. New Epstein stuff coming out in January. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark your calendars. The, apparently, I don't know if this is real or not, I didn't look into it, but apparently the Jeffrey Epstein client list is about to be unsealed, like, publicly. So start placing your bets on who's going to be on it. It's coming out in January. A federal judge in New York has ordered a vast unsealing of court documents in early 2024 that will make public the names of scores of Jeffrey Epstein's associates. That's going to be huge. 
That's going to be a big fucking day online. It's not even the full list. Yeah, it wasn't the full... The full list had like a thousand people on it or some shit. It was huge. But still, I'm curious what the 150 here are going to be. I feel like Elon Musk is definitely on that list. Well, he has that famous picture with just Lane Maxwell. So, yeah. I, I think that's already confirmed that he will be on it. Hey, good to see you, nice wig. Thanks for the resub. Red Thread episode idea. Oh, wait, that's kind of a banger, actually, when you can tell Jackson. That could go hard. Do you think Jonathan Major will be the next Ezra Miller, or is his career over? Ezra, oh, no. No, 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 I don't think so. Marvel already dropped him. DC is so desperate they keep Ezra Miller around, but Marvel already dropped Jonathan Majors. So, yeah, he's probably fucked. We'll see, though, I guess. But I think there's probably not a whole lot to do from there for him. Spoiler alert, nothing real will happen to them. It's like the Panama Papers, nothing happened. Glad you brought up the Panama Papers. While that may not have changed anything in the mainstream consciousness for normal people, the person who presented the Panama Papers got blown up in a fucking car bomb explosion. Which is why you saw people stop talking about it. Let me, f let me remember who that was. What was their name? Malta Carbomb kills the Panama Papers journalist. What was her name, though? The journalist who led the Panama Papers investigation into corruption in Malta was killed on Monday in a car bomb at, near her home. Daphne Corana Galizia. This is why you stopped hearing about the Panama Papers. People fearing for their fucking life. It's actually horrific. Yeah, what's even crazier is that most people don't even know what happened. Thanks to Risa Yoshi. Did you hear about the first guy to tear his windpipe by holding in his sneezes? No, but luckily I don't do that anymore. Thanks to the Prime Zonk. Hoping he gets a speedy recovery, though. Thanks for some clash. Yeah, we can we can play a little game here. Let's do ten. Let's see if we can predict ten people who will be on the Epstein list. No cheating though, and choosing people who are already there, like Bobby Kotick. I'm imagining the 150 they're revealing in January are going to be new names. Elon is already on it, right? Because of the Gislaine Maxwell stuff, wasn't he already on the Jeffrey Epstein? Initial list. Let me see. Oh, maybe he wasn't. Okay, Elon can go on there then. Thanks for your sub freeze. Yeah, we can throw Elon on there. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks would be a pretty surprising one. That's that's a that's a curveball. We can throw Tom Hanks on there. That's a really good suggestion, Quantum. Can you send that to Jackson on Twitter? Bill Clinton? B okay. Presidents is cheating. We already know Bill Clinton's going to be on there. <laughs> like, that is absolutely cheating. You're choosing easy ones. 
we need wacky ones so that way it's impressive if we get them right so I think Elon and Tom Hanks are pretty good Jared Leto's good Jared Leto well yeah no Jared Leto's like 50 years old he's a fucking vampire he just looks really young Jared Leto And yeah, we talked about it, confused. And thanks, Bucks. I want one that no one would, like, no one would ever think of. James Corden will throw it in there just because everyone dislikes James Corden to just give another reason. I see you're already cheating by going Matt Groening. He's, he's literally already on the list. No cheating. It has to be new ones. Jimmy Fallon. Oh, Jimmy Fallon's a good one. Alec Baldwin. Wait, was Alec? I don't remember if Alec Baldwin was one of them on there. Okay, so who do we have? Uh, we'll do both. Alec Baldwin, Jimmy Fallon, James Corden. Um, who else? Elon. Tom Hanks. We have five. Bill Nye the Science Guy. I like it. That's a wacky one. Bill Nye. If Bill Nye's on the Epstein list, that'd be fucking crazy. Thanks, the membership sounds streaker. Oh, and Jared Leto. So we got seven. We got seven. Three more. Let's get three more bangers. Chris Pratt. That's that's fire. That's a big one. Let's make the last two really wild ones and see if we get it right. Thanks for your sub scout and the membership to Fanny. You people are saying some that are already on the Epstein list. Stop cheating. We need new ones. Work together. Come on. You just keep spouting the same ones like Matt Groening. Donatella Versace. What the fuck? Okay, you're just throwing away one of your votes. No, I'm not putting Versace on there. Joe Rogan, big. Joe Rogan's big. All right, Joe Rogan gets number nine. All right, tenth. Vince McMahon is probably a frequent flyer. That's cheating. I feel like that one's too easy. We need the tenth one to be a crazy one. Thanks, the resub sea cow. Finish with a fucking heater. Thanks, the resub butter. And also, we can refer to the stream for evidence that we did get it right. Tom Brady, I love it. Lock it in. All right, we got our ten. So, let's go through it, just so it's nice and concise. It was Jared Leto, Alec Baldwin, Tom Hanks, Elon, Joe Rogan, um, fuck, wait, <laughs> now I'm just inundated with names, <laughs> Chris Pratt, Bill Nye, Tom Brady, who am I missing? Did I say James Corden already? I don't remember if I said James Corden. James Corden and Jimmy Fallon. I think if I hadn't said James Corden, then that's our 10. Okay, we got him. In January, we'll see if we're right. Mr. Bean. <laughs> that can be a wild card guess. Write this down. Why? We got a clip of it right here. We can easily refer to it. So January 1st. Wow, what a way to kick off the new year. 2024 is starting with a bang. Hey, welcome to 2024. Here's 150 more pedophiles. <laughs> cool. Hey, here's 150 new Epstein clients. Wild. That's so big. But Dan Schneider's on the list? Probably, but I think he was in the initial reports, I would guess. Yeah, that's that's going to be crazy. Thanks for the membership, NG. Santa's naughty list just got an update. 
<laughs> what what a wild way of talking about 150 child sex traffickers. Yeah, they would definitely be on Sandy's naughty list, though. I mean, you're not wrong. There's the resub daymare. Would Valve send them coal in Dota 2? I think that I think Valve would. I, I do think Valve would probably send them coal in Dota 2 and ban them. If Joe Rogan's on that list, we become number one. Oh, true. Yeah, if Joe Rogan's on this 150 from the Epstein flight list or whatever, that means Red Thread takes the number one spot on Spotify for podcasts. That's so true. Thanks for the resub, Sunray. You think Conor McGregor would be on the list? Probably not, I don't think. I, 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 don't, I don't think he would. What about Dan Schneider? Yeah, people keep mentioning Dan Schneider. I think he was probably on the initial list that came out, like with Matt Groening and all that, but I'll check for you real quick. But I also think that one's too easy of a guess. Because he, powerful man, huge from Nickelodeon, he probably would have been on the Epstein client list. Let's see. Does not seem like it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Dan Schneider was in the initial wave. <clears throat> Your pedophile teacher that you mentioned that one time. What a specific reference. Brother, my pedophile teacher would not have made it to the Epstein client list. He was trying to solicit 13-year-olds from Craigslist or something for sex and then got arrested. He he wouldn't have made it to the, the big leagues of pedophile rings. Nice and membership, Leo. And Chase. Hey John. Nice the prime it's area. We need to do a female list now. How many female flyers were there on the Epstein list? I'm very curious, actually. I don't... There can't be that many, right? I think Oprah was one of them, though, if I remember correctly. Or maybe not. I need to find that whole list again so I don't just keep going individually for each person I think of. Appreciate that. Thank you, Allison. Ellen was? Oh, was it Ellen that I'm thinking of? Let me see. Yeah, it looks like Ellen was. At least according to the first article here. Or actually here, expanding a bit further. Ellen DeGeneres was close to Epstein and Maxwell, but doesn't appear to have visited the island. 
Thanks for the 10 gift subs, Ollie. I appreciate the generosity. But yeah, it looks like she was friends with them. Thanks to the resub, Fisherman. That's a line, no way she didn't go to the island. Yeah, I can't imagine you could be friends with them and not know what they're doing. That's one of those things that's not an easy secret to keep, I would bet. And yeah, not, we talked about it earlier, but I haven't watched the whole thing yet. Hold on, give me one second. back look up the exigence exigency i like the exigency i'm familiar with it but no i did not see that josie when that happened probably a bunch of random billionaires no one's heard of i think this 150 is going to be very spicy i don't think it'll just be like random billionaires or anything Hey, glad you enjoyed it, Meridian. Why can't the list be released earlier? Well, it has to go through a whole legal process, so they have to, like, make the motion to unseal it, which I think they have successfully, so now it's set to release on January 1st. At least according to this, if I've read it correctly. Thanks the membership, Winter. Have you seen the recent four-hour video about Billy Mitchell by Veritas? Carl Jopp said, it's the best video ever made on Billy, and I agree. No, I didn't see that. When did that get posted? The biggest lie in video game history, the Billy Mitchell story. <laughs> this looks so fire. I already love the thumbnail. I, I just love seeing Billy Mitchell. There's something about him that just brings me joy, because I know when you see this mug... It's immediately followed by the most cartoonishly dog shit ideas ever, from frivolous lawsuits to stupid cameos. He's so entertaining. I'll definitely have to watch this then. And yeah, I heard about James Mac McCaffrey. Hopefully I said his name correctly. Thanks for the resub, Maddie. And the membership exile. What am I starting a cameo account? If, if I ever need the funds to pay for a giant god slap production or some shit, they <laughs> get desperate. Thanks for the five gift subs, Metalhead. Thanks the resub tube. You see the Icelandic eruption. My town just got blasted. Fire erupted. Legit looked like someone dropped that nuke on us. No, what the fuck? Is everyone alright? December 19th, 2023. Iceland volcano erupts. That looks straight out of a movie right there. I'm assuming there's video footage of it, right? Hold on, let me find it. I 
Lava spews as Iceland volcano erupts in spectacular lava show. I don't know if spectacular is really a word I'd use to describe it. I imagine a lot of people lost a lot in this. Or maybe I just don't know enough about volcano explosions. Thanks for the membership, Elijah. They knew weeks in advance. Oh, okay. Well, as long as everyone's all right. A display of nature's force, a volcano has erupted in southwestern Iceland near the town of Grindavik. The eruption sent semi-molten rock sky high, lighting up the night sky. So far, no injuries have been reported. God, it looks like something out of Doom. The dramatic scene, flights in and out of Iceland remain uninterrupted. The region is known for its seismic activity and sits above a volcanic hotspot. Almost makes the Iceland landscape look like Mars. Yeah, but every four to five years. Notably, this eruption is not expected to spew ash like the disruptive 2010 event. Authorities have urged the public to stay away as the event is dangerous and not a tourist attraction. Meanwhile, the residents of Grindavik. Fuck, lava's so, so cool looking. Jesus. Face oh, all I think about is RuneScape. When you go to the fight caves, you get your fire cape, you go for the inferno. God, it's so pretty. I wish it wasn't so disruptive. Like the prime bunnies. Thanks to Risa. Rolito and Dabs. What are your thoughts on the Shohei? Oh, what are your what are your thoughts on the Shohei Otani deal? We'd love to hear some of your opinions on MLB and baseball. Well, I'm not a baseball guy, but Matt and I are actually talking about the Otani deal. This seems like dog shit. <laughs> like, it's so much money, but it feels so bad for the organization. So for those that don't know, Shohei Otani just got a crazy contract. Uh, hold on, let me find the particulars of it. But it's deferred. So hold on. Where can I just find? There's so much on this. I just want to find like a really concise write-up of the particulars of it. Basically, Otani's unreal. He's extremely, extremely good. So he's got a contract. It's worth 700 mil. So it's a 700 million dollar contract, but it's really long term and it's deferred. So what that means is for like the first, I don't remember. I think it was like the first, ten, what was it, five something years, he gets like two mil a year. And then in like 2030, he gets 72 million a year. So basically, they're front loading it so that way the organization can continue to be competitive and continue to like play or pay player salaries. And then once it gets to a certain point, they dump all of their budget into just Otani. Thanks for the membership, Aaron. I haven't watched all of it yet, Cobra, but I talked about the parts that I'm in earlier if you want to rewind. Oh, here we go. Someone put it in chat. So from 2024 to 2034, it's 2 million per year. Oh, it's a 20 year contract, right? Why is it saying 10, 10 year? You're right. It's 20 years, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 10 is right. Wait, is it? No, what? Uh, yeah, could be, because then from 2034 to 2043, that's when he starts getting the 68 million a year. Right? Fuck, now I'm all over the place. Basically, for a long period of time, he's getting 2 million a year. And then all at once, once that time period's over, he's getting 68 million a year, basically fucking the org for the next X amount of years that they have to pay that salary. Okay, thank you. Someone put it much more succinct. 
10 years, but the money is deferred for 10 years after it ends. Okay. So 20 year time period, but 10 year contract. Thank you. Someone gave me a really easy explanation. Thanks for membership, zombie. But why? Because if they're doing the 68 mil a year right now, they wouldn't be able to pay for other players' salaries efficiently. So they're basically just kicking the can down the road. So they'll try and be competitive for 10 years and then dog shit for 10 years. But apparently it was also his idea to do this because he just wants to win. So he wants to go 10 years, hog wild, 2 mil a year, make it up in brand deals, whatever. And then he'll take like the massive payday. Oh, Jesus, that's awful to hear, Peachy. I hope she wins. Thanks a membership, Steve. The membership, goth boy. Someone posted a video breaking down how Otani single-handedly brings more money to the organization through international increase in ads. I mean, Otani is... He's just him. Like, <laughs> he is the man. And no, I didn't hear that about that at all, Jay. Links to the Prime, Miser, Sappy, and the Membership Shaman. Yeah, I know 2.2's out. Like I said, I'm going to play it. I'm planning on playing it later tonight, but I guess we'll see. I'm having a lot of fun just going over all the crazy shit going on right now. And happy birthday, Blair. Thanks to the tier one Aries. Is he also streaming on Twitch? Yeah, I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch. I simul stream every time I go live. Things of the Prime Sage. Shohei is argue, arguably the best baseball player of this generation. It's well-deserved. Yeah, no, I, I get that. Thanks for that, AFK. Appreciate the 20. You get a moist meter to the Yu Yu Hakusho live action? Yes, I just need to finish it. I don't know how many of you know this, but this is out. Oh, Rhyme Style already made a video calling it awful. I've only seen the first episode. It is terrible from the perspective of, like, Yu Yu Hakusho itself. But, brother, the action's pretty fun. At least in episode one. But narratively, nothing to do with Yu Yu Hakusho, like, at all. It's really missed the mark in that respect. But I really like the fighting. It's like the most over-the-top action. So it has one redeeming factor on it right now. So I had fun with episode one, but I'm extremely disappointed that it couldn't even bother trying to make it related to Yu Yu Hakusho. Ooh, fuck. Thank you for the huge drop sky quest. I really appreciate that. I was wondering if you have any advice on how to start learning how to fry scream like you do. That's like the most flattering thing I think I've ever read on stream. I can't fry scream at all. I tried to have Andy teach me and I just, I can't do it. So I don't fry, I, I don't fry scream. I false chord and chest scream. So I got no advice for you. Find anybody else to give you advice because I can't fucking do it. Thanks the membership, Rowan. Never played it, Robert, but I like watching videos on it. And someone just told me about Soggy Serial's video. So I'm going to have to watch it, Sawyer. So 
After watching the raid, watching action scenes in movies have never been the same. I think this is a must-watch movie for pretty much anyone who likes action movies. I've said this for a long time. I agree with you, but you can't compare everything to the raid because you're just going to be disappointed. I, th I think you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Thanks, the resub commander. Overrated. That's contrarian for the sake of being contrarian. This movie is unbelievable. The action is still unmatched 12 years later. It is so, so good. Okay, extends Raid and Raid 2. We're, we're talking about the Raid franchise. How about that? Thanks, Jim. Yeah, I already talked about the dream stuff. Just rewind the stream. Go back 40 minutes. We still get movies with really good action scenes like The Raid. We can get the occasional movie with a really good action scene like The Raid, but we'll never get a movie that's filled with action scenes that good like The Raid. But yeah, occasionally we do get one that pops really hard. But this whole movie is those scenes <laughs> for the entire runtime. Did you see how they filmed The Raid 2 car scene with someone dressed as a seat? Thanks, Risa Raptor. What? Is it this? Someone was dressed as a seat? So I'm assuming it's it's this. I'm assuming this is a man here. Thanks to the prime lasagna. Action! We have a camera pass, so the camera's in one car and we're passing it physically to another car, traveling at 50. So two operators- God, behind the scenes of movies is always so fascinating to me. movement and pass to the other operator. <laughs> Those kind of give me the most kick because they're really simple tricks. Cool. They just work really well. <laughs> oh, Alright. Now, maybe I'm just a fucking idiot, but why did they need him dressed as a car seat? What did that add? Because they still ended up digitally altering it. Was it just easier to digitally, digitally alter because he was dressed as a car seat? Yeah, it's just a little easier. <laughs> okay. Alright then. I like the idea that it doesn't change anything at all. They just had him do it because it's fun. Nice. Kind of looks like a hockey goalie. That's cool. What an interesting technique. Yeah, we just talked about the One Piece remake from Wit. <clears throat> Imagine being cast as a literal chair. Dream job. What the fuck? That'd be incredible. You talking about the Sony leaks? Yeah, I made a whole video about that. Well, the Insomniac leaks. Night Comes For Us on Netflix is close to the raid. 
What was this movie? Never seen it. If it's close to the raid, I'll watch it. You see, Johnny Somali sentencing in Japan. He has to quit streaming and pay 200,000 yen. The sentencing hasn't happened yet, but yes, I did see that. He's getting sentenced on January 10th, I think. Uh, yeah, January 10th. That's when the verdict gets passed down. But yeah, as of right now, it's looking like he's going to be paying 200,000 yen, which is the equivalent to 1,400 US dollars, and he has to quit streaming. This is the guy in Japan that was just making a big fucking problem for everyone there. Thanks the resub. Eat and Dawn. I'm a 33-year-old elected state senator in Iowa. <laughs> oh, that's super sweet. Thank you for that, Robert. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's cool. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I like the Big Les show. What did he do? This... I don't even know where to start. I made a video on him a while back. A, a lot of people have. This is the guy who's going around spamming racist shit. He eventually got arrested when he broke into, like, a construction site. He'd walk around with TTS on, though, just spouting racist stuff as well. He's just a giant asshole. Thank you, Jenny. And thanks for that, Anna. charge should be higher i agree he's getting off so easy he's getting off really light so he got lucky he got super lucky Thanks for the membership, Christopher. He at least got punched in the face that one time and knocked on his ass. That was an incredible wallop, too. Yeah. Have you, have you been keeping up with the Forklift Driving World Championship? Is that going on right now? Is it already that time of year? Oh my god, I missed it. I fucking missed it. It's the it's Super Bowl for forklift drivers and, and I missed it. Now some of Sydney's top tradies have been putting this As far as niche competitions go, there's tier one confusion. There's some overflow. There. You're watching Sam Bastami, a man who could legally drive a forklift before a car. Oh, like a skilled surgeon. He's now part of this elite group, considered the best in the country. Even their workmates couldn't believe it. I said, yeah, it's a, it's a forklift competition. It's a legit thing. Yeah, it's a legit thing, you know. And I said, what do you get? I love these like, kind of things. It's so sweet. Your name down and, and bragging rights. Yeah, exactly. Over several hours, their precision, driving, and safety was scrutinised. What's the trickiest part of that? Uh, reversing forward and back, making sure that you don't hit the bollarding with the machinery. It really, to me, just doesn't seem that hard. I've never operated a forklift, but seeing it make these maneuvers, like, that that all feels like it'd be so easy in my head. I feel like I could compete. Just cold turkey going there with no training. Needs membership silver. It's definitely not. Yeah, I imagine it's extremely difficult, but just to my stupid little Neanderthal brain, I just feel like I could do it. I really feel like I could do it. But I already know I'm going to end up as one of those statistics of people that die from improper operation of a forklift, and it's going to be a pathetic way of going out. I 
I heard Cardi just released new tracks. I haven't heard it yet. Making sure that you don't hit the bollarding with the machinery. Sydney's Chris Runstrom was the winner today, but we saw another battle looming. Just Congrats, the Chris. Of the rack, you've got an unmanned machine doing it all itself. Yeah, oh no, not that. AI. The They're stealing it. Put to the computer and uh, this autonomous truck to find the location by itself. But being a robot, it's still figuring out personal space. <laughs> It uh, stops by itself with the sensors on the bottom. Technology is great. Damn it. But you can't be manual handling. And getting paid to fork around. Tom Hartley, 7 News. Not even forklift operation is safe from the AI takeover. Damn you. Give you a fictional character to draw. Uh, do, um, what's the guy's name from Jet, Jet Fusion? Oh, I appreciate it. Well, thanks, Ginny. Did I, I keep getting it wrong? Is it Guinea? I drive a forklift and it isn't that hard. Uh, you're just trying to bait me into doing it and hurting myself. I know your game. Thanks, Crystal. And thanks to the resub web. You should rent one and have your own forklift Olympics. Yeah, it's such a cute idea on paper, but someone will die there. I already know it. I just already feel like that's going to happen, and I'm going to feel terrible for it. There's a prime lightning and the resub Bonbori. Yeah, from, G uh, from Jimmy Neutron Smack. Thanks for resub addicting. Thanks for the resub B. Yeah, we talked about it, Pand. Good to see it, Pand. Hope you're doing well. I bet your dad could drive a forklift. My dad can drive anything with wheels. Actually, anything. So yeah, I'm sure he'd be a fucking savant. Oh, I love the AEW. Yeah, of course. Can he drive a plane? He can't, but his uh, best friend can. Like, his friend growing up became a professional pilot. I don't know, I'm saying professional pilot. Like, every pilot is a professional. But he became, like, a commercial airline pilot. So my dad would learn from him sometimes, like, just about aviation. So I feel like if push came to shove, if Pops and I were on a plane, and all of a sudden the pilot fucking, I don't know, gets hit by, like, an insta-death beam, like a Death Eater comes out and gets him with the Avada Kedavra or whatever... I feel like my dad could probably take the helm and land it. There's a the resub money. There's a the prime binny. Interesting story about that guy, though. He ended up having to retire after flying commercial for, I think it was like 30, 30 40 years. He had to retire because he went to the bar at one of the hotels that he was at after a, after a flight and the bar stool just completely exploded and he ended up like breaking his back. So then the airline had to, or the hotel was held liable for it due to not maintaining the chairs properly. So he got like this massive fucking payday for it. And now he's super wealthy. Like the prime Jakey, the resub peeb. The Reset of Chevalier. Have you seen GD2 2.2s out? Yes, I did see that. Let's read some chaos. How's his back now? Oh, it's still fucked. Like, he, he couldn't do his job anymore. So he got a massive payday. Like, it's not like his back magically healed. It was apparently a pretty, like, catastrophic accident that happened.
Oh, I like the band 10 Years. I think they're very good. I have a lot of their tracks on my playlist. I knew a guy who drove a forklift and had a crazy accident. He forgot to put on some kind of brake. It tipped over, hit him on the head, causing full amnesia, and now he has zero emotions. Huh. That sucks. That does sound like a fun idea, Boofin, maybe. Have you read in the Anthony Edwards situation? Briefly. I saw a little bit about it. Hold on, quick text message. Now I'm back. You see King's G League player who's being charged with a woman's disappearance. No, I did not. It sounds not good. Thanks to the membership, Abby. Sweet. Thanks for that, Russ. They undersold that. The dude and his girlfriend are being charged with her murder. Oh. Oh. Jesus. He admitted to strangling her with an HDMI cord. What the fuck? This story just keeps getting more and more awful. And no, I have not seen that yet, David. But I did see that that got posted. I was watching some of your old gaming videos. It's crazy to think you were making videos at 16. I was making videos at 11. I've been on this shit for a long time. I still really wish I could find all those old videos. You ever read the drunk dude becomes first person ever swim across the Hoover Dam and make it out alive? <laughs> no, wait, let me check that out. Drunk Welsh man survives swim across Hoover Dam and gets a $330 fine. Aaron Hughes is thought to be the only person to make it across the reservoir alive. Good for him. Wow. Aaron Hughes, a 28-year-old forklift driver. Let's go! What? Uh, forklift drivers are just built different at the end of the day. Fuck yes. I'd reportedly been partying for 37 hours in Nevada when he decided to jump into the water and swim across it. It was around 45 degrees outside. We were on a stag do, stag do in Vegas. What the fuck is that? You go to Vegas to have fun, don't you? We made the hangover look tame. This guy sounds awesome. We were all just standing there and I thought, fuck it, I'm going for a swim. Mr. Hughes said his friends cheered him on as he swam across the Colorado River, which borders the states of Nevada and Arizona. He said the swim took him around 30 minutes, but admitted it f he felt knacked halfway across the but knew he had made it to the other side, or knew he had to make it to the other side as he could feel the water pulling him towards the dam. 
I was sucked towards the wall and had to swim hard. At the other side, I was exhausted. Then I heard police shout. He was handcuffed and arrested by Nevada police after making it across the water in front of a 726-foot structure and fined $330. Cool. He's thought to be... The forklift driver is only thought to have survived as nine of the dam's ten turbines were switched off at the time. He's very lucky then. One officer said, In my whole lifetime, I've never seen or heard of anyone doing it. Mr. Hughes told Mail Online while admitting his decision to go first one had been fueled by drink. Some 275 people have reportedly died at the site in the last 10 years. I don't have any regrets. I even have a tattoo saying no regrets. That's the type of person I am. He's got a fucking no regrets tattoo. Let's go. Let's go. What a guy. Appreciate the 20, Alex. And thanks for that, Kay. Welcome. Well, good for you, Aaron. This is in 2017. What a fucking champ. Thanks for you, Sub Robert. Have you ever gotten sick after a tier list? The only tier list I ever got ill after was the chip tier list, actually. It really gave me a strong tummy ache. And yeah, we talked about it earlier, Capelli. Very sad. Yeah, just rewind the stream for the dream video stuff I talked about. Bring it back an hour. We talked about it at the beginning. What's the worst thing you've eaten from a tier list? I'd have to really think. Yeah, I made a whole video on that guy, Malik. This is Risa Biffy. Who's your favorite Jujutsu Kaisen character? Toto. Have you ever pooped yourself? Twice. Last time I shit my pants was when I was like f 14, maybe, something like that, playing City of Heroes. Gambled on a fart and lost in a big way. <clears throat> I paid the piper. Have you seen the Fall of Minneapolis documentary? I have not. I'm not sure, Gray. I'd have to really think about it. You gonna do a t you gonna do a tier list with the new restaurant that McDonald's is opening? You talking about Cosmos Cosmics or whatever it's called? The coffee place, right? Oh, it's just called Cosmic. Oh no, it's called yeah no Cosmic. It's a coffee place, right? It's a beverage led concept that's truly out of this world. I guess it's more than just coffee. But yeah, I'll try it when it opens. I'll do a one of everything on it. Probably end up getting food poisoning. I'd say move straight to Bloodborne, Ross. Thanks to Resub Trez. I'm not sure mood. I'd have to really think about it. And that was a, a while ago, Miser. We talked about that, yeah. Have you seen Jack Dougherty? He's a trust fund kid who hires bodyguards to protect him while verbally harassing, threaten random people as a prank. 
Yeah. I've known about Jack Dowdy for a long time. And now I know he started to pop off and people have finally started to realize what a real asshole he is. I'm very familiar. Probably won't, Sailor, unfortunately. That's sweet. Thanks, Alex. Is the prime kinna? Oh, that's sweet. I appreciate the long time of watching then, Alex. Netflix won their lawsuit against cuties. Wait, what? Don't mess with Netflix. Lone Star State DA loses cuties battle with streamer over child porn claims again. I didn't know this was still ongoing. I thought this got settled a while back. But yeah, that, this was today. Netflix wins lawsuit against one of its most controversial movies, talking about cuties. They got sued back when it came out about it like being way too closely resembling child porn. But it looks like they argued that it's not actual child porn. Congrats. It's still still horrible. Doesn't make the movie any less bad. Or disgusting. Thanks, membership guy. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I don't know anything about it, Hunter. Haven't seen anything from it. Aquaman 2 comes out this week, though. I'm definitely going to see that. I know that's going to be a stinker. I like. <laughs> I didn't see the interview, but Aaron told me that Jason Momoa did an interview and asked if he was going to come back for Aquaman. And he said, yeah, if this movie does good, but it's not looking like it or something. I don't think it'll flop. Why don't you think it'll flop? Every DC movie is flopping. Even the ones that they expected to do well. I think it'll flop. Thanks, Arisa Moon. Yeah, we talked about it, E.T. The horrible. When you eat on the tier list, you look like a little kid taste testing food. That's how I feel. Happy birthday, Clayton. MCU's ass now too. Yep. Guardians 3 was their last oorah of quality, I think. I think it's only going to go downhill even further. Thanks, Jesse. I, the names sound super familiar, Rob, but I'm unfamiliar with what they do. Flavored condom tier list win. You're three years late to that one, brother. We did a flavored condom flavored condom taste tier list like three or four years ago. Still some of the worst flavors I've ever tasted. But that was probably the spermicides. Have you seen the new GTA 5 no pixel? Oh yeah, of course. And no, I haven't seen him post that duel. <laughs> it sounds like a cool TikTok, I guess. And not yet, Caleb. It got pushed. So it's coming out this week. Why would you suck a condom anyway? I don't know, man. If you're really concerned about getting some kind of oral infection, I guess. I don't know.
I have not been keeping up with it, Python. Oral sex and HPV is the leading cause of throat cancer, which is crazy. I did. I actually just saw a, a headline on that, that oral sex can cause throat cancer, which is fucking terrifying. Thanks to Resub Rebellious. You see the new Tesla humanoid robot? Mm mm. I did not see it. Things of the gift sub strike. You gonna check out the Percy Jackson series? Man, fuck no. They should have cast me in it. I'm not gonna watch it. Did you see that date? Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that he's not happy with the direction God of War has gone with Kratos, which I think is a super stupid take. I haven't watched the whole video on it, but the direction they took Kratos is nothing shy of impressive. To take a character like Kratos and turn him into that extremely fleshed out, extremely well-rounded character is really, really well done. And yeah, we talked about it, TR, super sad. I think it's a resub problem. We continue streaming on YouTube instead of Twitch. I stream on both. Like, I'm live on Twitch right now, too. I do both. I spent a few weeks working on Bollywood Top Gun. Look up Spirit of Fighter. Is this your most recent project? I'll have to check this out. I, I don't think I can watch the trailer on stream, though. Links to the give some Axeli. I can do game trailers on stream, but I don't think I can do, like, movie trailers. Hey, Milky, thank you for the huge drop. And I do know about Shadows of Doubt. Thank you for that. Links to the resub, Swiggity. I haven't looked into the Jonathan Majors stuff. I just know he was found guilty for, what was it, assault and harassment. But I don't know too much beyond that. I know the initial stuff that came out. And then I know the verdict. But nothing in between. And then there was like a video of him running down a street. What do you think of the Borderlands game series? Uh, it started strong, finished on a whimper. Thanks for some arrow and cress. Do a Christmas Red Thread episode on Krampus. Actually, man, these are some, like, banger red thread ideas. That's a really good one. No way we turn it around in time, though. We just filmed episode three with Heaven, or for Heaven's Gate. Well, we, not for them. About Heaven's Gate.
Have you heard of M M Makale? No, I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, the Halo Season 2 trailer came out a little while back, didn't it? Still didn't watch it. I'm just going to watch the show when it comes out and be angry. <laughs> just like Season 1. That's my plan. My profile pic on YouTube is Beef Testosterone. Right, I think. Devo? You can check them out. <laughs> Have you watched the... Ooh, hold on, I'm stretching my legs. Thanks to Membership Rexus. Have you watched Heavenly Delusion anime? I have not. It's probably going to be ass, but there is a new showrunner and writing team that actually played the games. Hey, maybe there's a chance. I wonder how much Master Chief ass we're going to see in this season. Hopefully even more than season one. You see Valve pleading with Steam Deck owners to stop inhaling exhaust fumes. I didn't, but they just want you to not reach your full potential. Don't listen to them. You can keep inhaling the fumes, damn it. He's a prime nightmare. Thanks to the resub ice. And the resub Melinda's. If you checked out the new Current Affair, it's about a couple who sold their house because of their Lego collection. It's called The Couple Chooses Lego Over Their Own Home. I haven't actually checked in on Australian news in a while. Chris and Daniel have spent $100,000 on Lego. That sounds like they bought like three sets. Lego's expensive, lady. That shit is... That's not a lot. You get yourself maybe one Millennium Falcon with that. Wow. Their obsession is about to cost them a whole lot more. The couple's collection is too big for their three-story, four-bedroom home. So, they're buying a new one. There once was a house. Home to a couple of brickheads. There's Chris. I love Lego. It allows me to be really super creative. And it's... it's just so much fun. And I hope they make like the motorized oh, cool shit. <laughs> and they've got a room full of Lego. Boy, this is kind of fire. <laughs> this is cool. Manchester <clears throat> United um, Stadium. We've got the Taj Mahal, Coliseum, a Lego piano. Where was the Taj Mahal? They went by it too quick. Um, stadium. We've got the Taj Mahal. Oh, they didn't show it. I tried to build the Taj Mahal on stream with Jackson a couple years ago. This house has it all. A pool. A basement bar. A lift. And these four walls to house approximately Thanks for your substatics and the gift sub Frana. This is like actually super cute. I thought this was going to be weird, but these are just nice people with a fun hobby. The person who walks in this front door says, this house is amazing, why are you selling? That's legit. Lego. Yeah, why are you selling? When you have a growing Lego family like this one, you must expand. Don't have the space for the Lego. Sounds crazy. What do you mean you don't have the space for the Legos? I We just walked through your house. You have open hallways. You can drain the pool. I see a thousand plate. Look at that. Look, 
Your living room has no Legos in it. What the fuck? You have so much space. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Don't have the space for the Lego. It sounds crazy. Um, of completely filled. Thanks the bedroom. for the resub. Kiss hey, kiss, kiss him off. Thanks room. for the resub. Um, also in my garage. Thanks for the membership, cars Dylan. Are down there as well, but I've got so much in storage that I can't build because I haven't got the space to display it. Also, this is really cool. She has um, is it heater heater acromia? I'm sure I fucking butchered that. She has two different colored eyes. That's very rare and super cool. To display it. Chris all day and partner Daniel Dawson have built them. Heterochromia. Oh, okay. Then I was close. Literally. Is there some normal? Newport, west of Melbourne. Instead of knocking it down, they've decided to buy a bigger one. Because when you pour about a hundred thousand dollars into a hobby like Lego, you want to enjoy it. Even if you're taking a phone call from someone, I, that's where I end up wandering to, to have a chat on the phone, but you're actually checking out your own Lego. I'll admit I do the same thing. <laughs> this is just <laughs> genuinely wholesome. And look around and go, oh wow, there's the Coliseum. <laughs> Chris started collecting bricks at seven years old. Now in her 40s, her haul just about has it all. They and yeah, I watched RRR the other night, actually. It was pretty good. I don't think it lived up to the hype, though. Some are boxed up for safekeeping. So that one's just wholesome. I thought that was going to be, like, really weird. Those are just nice people, and they have great taste in Legos. And their house is beautiful. There's a tier one, Alana, and the resub DeLorean. I haven't heard about that, Shinkai. Well, that's terrible. Yeah, I'll definitely look at that. Hey, happy birthday, Cream. What about a Kinex addict? Kinex never really got the love that it deserved. I was always more of a Kinex guy growing up, actually. I thought you could make so much cool shit with Kinex that you just couldn't with Legos. <clears throat> hey, happy birthday, One Punch. Thanks to the resub catcher. Okay, I'll look it up, Alex. Is there any, is there anything you're most excited about in 2024? Um, nothing off the top of my head. Thanks to resub furious. And happy holidays, Kim. Kimarovo. Did you ever watch the video I did on you called The Complete Online History of Moist Critical Part 1? <laughs> no, wait. I did not see that. When did you post that? It goes all the way back to 2004. I didn't have an online footprint in 2004. I didn't have access to the internet really in that way. I'd play on my parents' computer doing Armageddon and some City of Heroes. But outside of that, I didn't have shit. I also used to film on a camcorder trying to do Dragon Ball Z Budokai character unlock tutorials. But I couldn't post them. Alright, I'm very curious. Hold on, let me see the beginning. I wanna- I wanna know what digital footprint I left in 2004. Unless you're just going over, like, my lore as a human being. You said 2004, huh? I probably spent around 200 hours looking for Moist Critical's lost media. <laughs> also, brother, like I said a million times, you're never going to find the lost videos. <laughs> they are so fucking gone. I wish you could, though. If anyone could, it's going to be you. You fucking... You have scoured every nook and cranny of the cyberspace. But they do, they were not out there. If you do, though, I've, I've, I've got you covered. I will pay you for it. So I thought I would make a series about his time on the internet, starting all the way back to mid-2005. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Mid-2005? But without further ado, this is the complete online history of Moist Critical, Part 1. 
Charlie creates a website through the free website making site Pixo. He's he is right. Networking and blogging site for teens that was made in 2003 and later shut down in November 2012. God hey, rest who, its which soul. Which one of you boys? Oh my god, that's I fucking jump scared myself. That was so much louder than the rest. Always remembers Pixo. Do you guys remember Pixo by chance at the dot Pixo? No. I don't think so. Here, I'll just I'll fill in the blanks here so we don't have to relive the podcast. Pixo was a free hosting thing back in like 2004, 2005. I made something called coldflames.pixo.com where basically I talk about RuneScape and it was also surrounded by Lost Prophets music videos. Really hasn't aged well since the lead singer is one of the most notorious pedophiles in the music industry's history. But that was like my first exposure online, I guess. I I didn't I didn't even think of that when you said 2004, but yeah. I did make a website back then. Happy birthday, Smiley. Or happy birthday, Ginny. Podcast episode 76. Charlie describes the website. I was just... Yeah, so that's kind of how that went. Okay, and then... Alright, so that's the only thing you have from that time period. And this goes over why I went to YouTube because of the Falador Massacre. Okay. So you did a comprehensive breakdown of the journey. But I was very curious if you found, like, coldflames.pixo.com, because I've tried to find that from a long time ago. I'll check that out and fact check you later. That's fire, though. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> V1, VH1 behind the moist. It's not a very interesting story. Yeah, we talked about it, Tumby. Thanks to membership, Wander. And probably not many Wander. Missed the mini mohawk you had? Yeah. The short hair era was, was a wild one. Oh, I love Blue Eye Samurai. I think it's fantastic. And no big Christmas pr- no bi- No big Christmas plans. Are you ever going to go back to the short hair? I don't know. We'll see. I've been enjoying the long hair. Maybe I'll go back to short hair at some point. Have you seen the after school special for what? No, I'm not going to do anything fucking crazy like cornrows or anything. I just like long hair. It feels really versatile to do shit. Short hair is cool and everything, but I like the versatility of long hair. You see the Florida bear attacking and stealing some reindeer decorations? No, let me see. These bears are out of control, though, I'll tell you that much. Let's see. Oh, you fucking scumbag. You sick bastard. <laughs> I'd be so mad. Those things are expensive. That's like a hundred bucks. Oh, it's actually probably more than that. The Jack Skellington things they have at Target are like a hundred bucks. That's probably a lot more. I'm really impressed though with the durability on that reindeer. It didn't immediately just crumble on a fucking bear attack. I, I will say, every time I watch a bear attack something, I'm always underwhelmed. You hear about how they're like one of the most efficient killing machines in nature, but when I see a bear attack video, I don't see a lot of damage. 
I really don't. Like, this fucking inflatable reindeer isn't torn to shreds or anything. Not to say I'm going to go out there and fight a bear to try and prove my point or anything, but I am always underwhelmed. Wrong video, it wasn't inflatable. Oh. Wait, how many reindeer are victims of bear attacks every year? This was just the first thing that came up. Let me see. Is it this one? With the Facebook royalty free music? You fucking scoundrel, please. God, bears are so adorable, it's ridiculous. I don't know why they have to be so deadly. Alright then. Well. Who needs the decorations anyway? Thanks to the membership, Dom. And yeah, we talked about it, Dom. Thanks to the membership, Oscar. Get Marge Simpson hair. Now we're cooking. And yeah, we talked about it, Rhett. Terrible. Hey, thanks for the raid, Gunner. Hope you're doing well. Thanks to the resub Kiwi Arms. Gunner misses you. Miss you too, Gunner. Hit me up, man. I'm always open to hanging out if you're ever in the area. Watch bear fights, you'll understand quickly. I did watch a bear fight. It went viral on Twitter like six days ago. These two bears were fighting, fucking scuffling over some nonsense, maybe a pot of honey or something, and there was like no damage. Like, both bears were going at it, giving it their all, 110%. And, like, neither bear was even scraped. Except, for actually, one of them had, uh, like, a gash on their leg. But I almost feel like that wasn't the result of the fight. Because they're full of fur. Well, yeah, obviously. I know why, but I'm just saying, I'm always underwhelmed. Like, they have so much hype around how good they are at killing things, yet when I see a bear attack, it's always like, eh, there's nothing. Except in the movie Revenant. Thanks to the resub, Dilf. You never saw a bear attack a person. That's cheating, though. Like, I get a bear would fuck up a person... Most likely. Well, I don't even know why I'm saying it. Like, there's no room for debate. But when I see it fight in general, like, against other things, and even an inflatable reindeer, it's just, it's always like, like I don't know. doesn't live up to my expectations. That's all. That, that's all I'm saying. I, I don't mean to offend any of the bears out there. Look up polar bears when they fight. Why are they more vicious? Those are the most vicious, vicious bears, right? Let me see. But there's only like five of these bitches left on Earth. How often can they possibly fight each other? They're still endangered, right? Obviously, I'm exaggerating with the number. Polar bear versus walrus. I know they win. That's not going to be an interesting one. Polar bear versus wolf. Such a huge height mismatch. Polar bear versus grizzly bear, who would win in a fight? Polar bear versus hippo, let me see. Does that does that exist? No, this is just more of like a fantasy thing. Who would win between a who would win a polar bear versus a hippo? 
And it looks like the experts argue the hippo. Somebody did stats, polar bears binge 4,000 and deadlift like 6 to 8K, which is crazy to think about. What do you mean someone did the stats that polar bears can binge 4,000 pounds? How would you even possibly <clears throat> possibly calculate that? We crunched the numbers. Yeah, but there's so many factors at play. <laughs> like, there's no way <laughs> that just wouldn't convert. <clears throat> yeah, I'm all caught up on Jujutsu Kaisen. Is the bear using chalk when lifting? Yeah, exactly. Is the bear using chalk when lifting? Like, there's so many things you have to factor in. Have you noticed that on just chatting on Twitch, it's full of naked girls twerking and pillow writing? I haven't seen the pillow writing, but now I've, I have seen that there's 24-7 twerking streams now where people just loop twerking videos. <laughs> Which is pretty cool, I guess. But I haven't seen the, the pillow writing pop off yet. Thanks to the resub goblin. <clears throat> what the fuck? I just checked it's true. What, with the pillow writing? Let me see. There's no way it's that prevalent. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait. That's so fire. So I'm in the just chatting, the just chatting category. The three streams ahead of mine on Twitch are the censored one, like censored titty and vagina, the insinuated toplessness, and then I think the first one is pillow riding. That's fire. <laughs> Let's go. I'm in. The, I'm in the big leagues here. And then number three is someone watching soccer. Show us. Sure. I mean, it's on Twitch. It should be safe, right? So we're right here. Although I am on YouTube though. Maybe YouTube doesn't take kindly to that. I guess we'll see. Well, I don't know. I didn't even think about that. Hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> it is, is what it is. I already talked about the dream stuff. Just remind like two hours now. I'm very curious why this comes in waves. Because all at once there'll be like a hundred people that come into the, the YouTube side specifically. And just start spamming about dream spat on you. When he didn't. He literally just used me to make his point about the thirst trap stuff. And we already talked about all of it. Yeah, I know 2.2 came out. What's your favorite Pokemon game? Leaf Green. I think Leaf Green's the best one. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<clears throat> Look up the collection of Horrible Fates 15. And you'll see how scary, and you'll see how deadly bears can be. Lisa Risa Joaquin. Propaganda. Just bear propaganda, I don't believe it. Things the prime shoveler. Bears aren't scary, they eat fish. Finally, an intellectual who gets it. Finally. Have you played the finals? Yeah. It's good. Thanks, Arisa Luke. Favorite athlete of all time, Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson, I think, is an athlete who is legitimately just ahead of their time. I fucking love AI. This is the man. Thanks, Arisa Gold. <clears throat> Have you seen the Chase commercial with AI and Kevin Hart? Nope. Too bad he pissed in that trash can. Hey, who hasn't? Are you saying AI pissed in a trash can at some point? That's so fire. <laughs> cool. I didn't know that. Thanks, Bear. AI would be the GOAT if he won any championships. It is not his fault. It is really not. Uh, I think people forgot just how hard Allen Iverson carried that franchise for so long. Here, I'm going to pull up the one appearance they made. Just look at his stats from this. Well, let me get the, the final stats out. Why is it not giving me game by game stat break stat breakdowns on Wikipedia? Oh, here we go. So they did go to the championship once. And AI popped, dropping a fat fucking 48, looking great, but it was just not destined to be. But I mean, he was still going. He was still going in. He was doing all he could. 23 in game 2, 35 in game 3, 35 in game 4, 37 in game 5. Like, there is not anything else he could have done. He had no help on that squad. This is a man who is destined for greatness. He should, he should have had multiple championships if he just had a fucking franchise with some, like, backup on it. He just needed like a de he didn't even need a great team around him. He just needed a decent team. And he would have had at least one, probably multiple. Fuck man, I, I love AI. I think it's a tier one Kylan all. You only liked him because he's small? Well, he wasn't I mean he's much taller than me. He was six feet. I think he was six feet. But I liked him because he, like, reinvented, like, a whole new style. Like, he brought and won to the NBA in a pretty fun, spectacular fashion. If AI was in the league today, Twitter would blow up every time he touched the fucking ball in a game. He was actually just ahead of his time. Thanks, the prime's up. And tier one lurker. But yeah, he was undersized, which was cool, and still able to do so much. Everything he did, I just thought was great. Charlie Glazing. Hey, you asked me who my favorite athlete is. Of course, I'm going to be Glazing my favorite athlete. <laughs> what do you expect me to do? 
He asked me who my favorite athlete is. Of course, I'm going to be singing the praises of my favorite fucking athlete. I had his shoes when I was in middle school. Crossed up MJ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched it all yet, Kiwi. We were just talking about the parts that I'm in. Who's your favorite football player? Randy Moss. <laughs> Randy Moss was the fucking man. Yeah, Randy Moss was great. He invented his own, well, he didn't invent his own thing, but he became known for, like, the one-handed catch over the, the corners that were on him. So it became a big trend in pop culture to say you got mossed pretty often. So it was kind of like, in a, this is a really big comparison, but I'm going to try and make it work. He was kind of like the Kobe to football for a little bit, at least in the, like, where I was growing up. If you were doing anything basketball related, like taking a shot with like a scrap of paper in class, you say Kobe before shooting it. But if you were doing anything like physical and you're like outplaying the person that's on you, you'd say you got mossed. So he was to football what Kobe was to basketball for a while. The new Tamagotchi devices are crazy. What? How are they crazy? They like suck your dick or something? What makes them so crazy? The Tamagotchi picks. What's it do? The next generation of virtual pets. It's more unique, united, and universal. Oh my god, they're going to the metaverse. Tamagotchi, see you in the Tamaverse. Your virtual pet is better than ever, allowing your Tamagotchi character to connect with Unitamus from around the globe. <clears throat> Nurture your character. Show off your fandom. Take photos with your character. I'm assuming this only connects locally, right? You wouldn't want kids to be able to send pictures of themselves across the internet to complete strangers on the Tamagotchi network. That sounds like it'd be extremely dangerous. But it does say from around the globe. And no, I haven't seen that bank MC Banks. Terrell Owens was pretty cool too, yeah. And thanks, Jakey. What does this even mean? It looks like it's trying to make a completely connected world for Tamagotchi fans. No, nah, it doesn't seem like it's trying to be the metaverse per se. But it does seem like it's somewhat inspired by it. Thanks, Resub Xander. Thanks, Gum Gum. You gonna play Everhood 2 when it releases? Yeah. There's a resub Hess. What about that guy in Florida who got charged with assault for throwing Oreos at his wife? It was more than that. He beat his wife. We looked that story up. Yeah, no, that guy, he threw Oreos at her. Sure, that was part of the assault, but he also, like, beat her. Thanks for the membership, Big Brick, if I remember correctly. No, I haven't watched all of it, Kips. 
Just the parts I was in. And I know 2.2 came out. You should post your basketball highlights. Eventually we'll start streaming our games. I've been saying that for like eight months now, but eventually we'll start streaming our basketball games. Our squad is solid. Moist Wrestling League coming back. Yep. We've got our next filming in eight days. This next one is going to be a wild one. The reason it takes so long to do the Moist Wrestling League stuff is because we're constantly trying to make it bigger and better. So this next one is probably going to be our... I would say our most professional one yet. Yeah, I, I talked, I responded to it, Shinkai. I'm sorry, did you not? Hold on. Oh my god, wait, no, you're right, Shinkai. I completely didn't see that. What the fuck, I am so sorry. Holy shit. On the Cyberbolt situation, he made three videos criticizing PSO2 NGS, which he played before. Yeah, I'm very familiar. Lots of people agreed with Cyber's point, but still caused controversy. That's why the stalker is striking his videos. I am so sorry I missed that, Shinkai. Thanks the membership, Benito. Okay, here, let me type that in before I forget, though, so I can figure out exactly who's doing it and why. Nice membership, Muggsy. I did not watch it, Muggsy. I didn't see that one. How do you not spill shit on your white shirts all the time? Because I'm a fucking clean eater. I'm a clean guy. Welcome, Brick. Just check the community post. On his YouTube page? Okay. Here. Oh, he has a whole thread on Twitter about it. I imagine this has more information than just the community post, right? I'll just go through that. Favorite TV show ever? I think Breaking Bad's the best TV show ever made, but probably my favorite TV show is Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, hold on, I need to stretch out these puppies a little bit. God, I'd be such a nasty, like, kickboxer, I think. Each one of those kicks packing crazy amounts of pressure behind it. True, the walls almost came down. No, nah, for real though. Especially since I've been getting more flexible. I'm a lot more limber now. Thanks to Resub Echo. I could be knocking skulls off their shoulders. Thanks to Resub Cobalt. Belle Delphine. Is she back? Belle Delphine, she'll come back maybe two or three times a year, immediately make like a million dollars on her return and be like, alright, fucking out again. Thanks guys.
It's just, it's a smart grind. It really is. How does she spend money so fast? I don't even think she spends the money that fast or anything. I think she really just comes back. She's like, eh, I'll take a little more money. <laughs> hey, I'm back. And then she'll post for like a month. And then it's like, all right, just disappear. Didn't she defeat you? Yeah, Belle fucked me up. Yeah, she fucking spanked me at the sex toy collecting competition we had. Thanks, Raspberry. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks to the resub, Alibra. Have you seen that Shoddy Wanna Fuck came out? You talking about the official music video? I did. Of course I watched that. Pussy turn red. I see that all over the place now, that meme. This guy, who is that? I don't know what I was thinking would come up when I typed this in. All I typed in on Google was pussy turn red. And then it just goes, what causes an irritated vulva and how is it treated? When I'm just looking for the rapper. Who is he? So I can find him a little bit better than going through this route. M dot R. Thank you. Oh, I cannot watch this on stream immediately. It's <laughs> just ass shaking. Okay. I'll just play the meme clip then. Because I see this everywhere. Actually, I can't even pull that up. I can't find it. It's a banger. I bet. Lots of new SWAT game, Ready or Not. I'm really excited to play Ready or Not. I still haven't yet. I'm playing it with the boys when they get back from the wedding. It was uh, one of their friends' wedding. Not Matt's. The fact, the fact that the person Bell hired to sing her return song later went on to become the world's most popular VTuber is crazy. I didn't even know that. Look for the one where it's like him in the studio, it slaps. That's what I was trying to find, but it's not coming up. The memes are always like, me when I tell myself I'm not going to drink much at Thanksgiving. And then me after two, uh, I don't know, Tito's shots. And then it's that clip of him going, pussy turn red. But I can't find it now. This says M.R with a crazy dance hall freestyle. Does he freestyle? <laughs> Wait, let me see. Or is this the video that it comes from? Yeah. Reggae selector UK. I think this is where that comes from. In the fucking building. Yo. Hemmed up. This is where it comes from. Okay. Movie pun telly. This one again. I'm not made like Freddy. When they drink Remy, they will drink rum. I will drink any. What? Go we have it. Mind not the killing them. Start move erratic. What? What? What's the timestamp? Hold on. Let me see the comments. I just want the timestamp. Wally by blood class, smoking at the air. Fucking at the kitchen, she was fucking at the chair. Fucking at the bathroom, cock it up upon the stairs. And when we step in at the club, every gala draw near. Every gala guam bad. Me have the style and pattern to make the gala guam bad. I don't think it's that one. Yeah. 
Big bomber class, be for boss in me head. A sexy girl, I say she want to give me head. When me fuck pussy, pussy turn red. Gymnastic, know the pussy dead. When me dead. Yeah, that's the one. I mean, it goes hard. I don't know a whole lot about M.R, but I like that that fire right there. I like that part. Bro putting his life on the line for that. No, he puts his heart and soul into it. And I appreciate it. Yeah, we talked about it a bit earlier, Ben. Top three Zelda games. For me, it's Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild. And I would guess I'd give number three to Wind Waker, probably. Thanks to the gift sub, Gil. And the resub, Brundon and Rook. How do you like Tears of the Kingdom as a top five? I would have put Tears of the Kingdom probably at number five. And I'd give number four to Majora's Mask. Pete and Baz are so good, especially with... Yeah, oh, I love Pete and Baz. I, I've, I've talked about them a lot. I think, that, I think they're legitimately good. Like, stick aside with them being old. I just think they're actually good. I think their tracks go hard. Have you watched the 80s VHS dating videos? Like, be more specific. I've seen a lot of old dating shows. Which ones are you referring to? No one quick text message. Hold on. Thanks for the resub, Cameron. Did you check out Geometry Dash 2.2? Yeah, like I said, I'm going to play it. I don't know if I'll play it tonight, though. I've been enjoying just going over all the goofy shit for tonight. But I will play it. It's been in development for like six years or something. Your album of the year? I don't know. I don't know what my album of the year would be. That's one I haven't really sat down to think about. You gonna moist meter bleach thousand year blood war? Yeah, when it's finished. When they wrap it up. I think they have one more part. Let's see some potato. Look up the Drake donation. You're talking about when he got donated 20 cents. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, Geometry Dash 2.2 is out. It's 
played any of the Lord of the Rings games? Tons of them. Thanks for the membership, Alina. What's your favorite? What's your current favorite Jujutsu Kaisen episode so far in season two? Maharaga vs. Sukuna. I think that episode was so good, and apparently a lot of it wasn't even completed, and it was still unreal. Favorite trilogy besides the Fred trilogy? I mean, you're never beating the Fred trilogy, but a close second's gotta be Lord of the Rings. From the YouTuber's desktop and found footage type. 80s video montage. Oh, it's a single video you, you're recommending. Thanks for the gift sub, Gil. Hey, congratulations though, Dan. That's huge. You're almost there. What happened to Fred after he sold his channel? Uh, I... I don't remember him selling his channel, but he still does things. I, I don't remember him selling Fred, though. Did he? It looks like he did at some point. Man, he stopped doing videos a long time ago, actually. Thanks to get some gill. Crazy how time flies. I see Chainsaw Man's getting a movie. Yeah, I saw. Is he bald now or something? I don't, I don't know. He's wearing a hat. I can't tell. I have not heard Lil Yachty's new album. First YouTuber to hit a million subs. Yep. He was a trailblazer. He's in his mid-30s now, probably. I know. Yeah, I know. I'm almost 30. It's fucking awful. He did not sell his channel or read his channel about me. Okay, then he didn't sell his channel. When are you inventing the anti-aging serum? We gotta suck it out of Jared Leto's veins first, man. He's the guy who's got it. That guy's 50 years old. Jared Leto's 50 years old. He's Whatever he's on is the secret. This goofball. Adrenochrome. Yeah, maybe he is just pumped chock full of adrenochrome. I don't know. But he's... He's found the anti-aging method. Brad Pitt at least looks somewhat old. Well, Brad Pitt's a little bit older than him, too. I think Brad Pitt's like 55, 56, something. Bro found the fountain of youth. He really did. This guy could actually pass for my age. Probably younger. He could pass for like mid-20s. It's crazy. That would be a close competition, HSB. I don't know who'd win. That could be fun. Brad Pitt is 60? Brad Pitt is 60? Oh, shit. Thought he was a little younger than that. 
Ralph Macchio is 62. Dude looks 35. Who is Ralph Macchio? That name sounds so familiar. Oh, the Karate Kid. Damn. He's 62? He really does look like mid-30s. I think it's a prime sand. Holy shit. Yeah, some people just age really well. It's all just a gamble. You never really know. Ryan Reynolds is a classic for aging well. Yeah, but he's not like old or like there yet. He's like 40. Oh my god, wait, he's 47. I thought he was like early 40s. Thanks, Twice Baked. Thanks, Resub Clay. They are all actually androids. I feel like Ralph Macchio is probably just naturally aging well. I don't think he was, like, wealthy enough from just Karate Kid to afford whatever Jared Leto's on. So he's just got, like, those ageless genes. Thanks the resub milk toast. Now Tom Tom Cruise does look he looks good for his age, but it's still clear he's not he's he's not looking like Ralph or Jared Leto. Paul Rudd's another one, yeah. Paul Rudd is six is fifty four. Paul Rudd's showing signs of aging though. Jared Leto still isn't, but maybe it'll hit him all at once. Paul Rudd, you can start to see a little bit. Like he won't, he wouldn't pass for mid twenties anymore. He'd he'd be in thirties now. We need a celebrity age tier list. Yeah, true. Who else would be on there? Probably Anne Hathaway. Salma Hayek. Who else? Rob Lowe. How old is Rob Lowe? He's 59. Eh, no, he, he is definitely... You, you, can, you can tell he's not going to be in his 20s. Or even 30s. Maybe late 30s. 32 getting old is a terrible thing. Nah, I hate it. Yeah, no, nah, I fucking hate it. This is the mindset, and this is revitalized. <laughs> Godspeed. That's a pretty fire motto. Hopefully that works. Minnesota finalized the vote on their new flag. Hey, let me see it. Oh, it's trash. That's such poop. You, they should have used the Labrador. That shit looks like a Destiny banner. Yeah, no, it kind of does, actually. You're not wrong. Have you seen Dracula Flow 4? Yeah, I have. I love Dracula Flow.
Thanks for the gifted member, Andy. I think you'll play Ultra Kill Act 3. Mm, I like Ultra Kill, but I, I actually I haven't played that in a long time. Thanks for the resub, Jace. Thanks for the resub, Snail. You gonna play only up two? Oh, I forgot that came out. Probably not. Maybe, I don't know. The shtick of only ups kind of worn off on me. The novelty's gone. I feel like you can't catch lightning in a bottle twice. Holy shit. This has 13 million views. What the fuck? Dalmatians are very cute, yeah. And no, I didn't see that happen, Peanut. Easy money. I doubt it. It's a YouTube short. I would wager a guess that this guy made maybe 15 bucks off that. If that, 15 is going to be really high. Probably not even. I ate a lot of tuna and I fear mercury poisoning. You're probably fine. You'd probably need a much more tuna than you consume for mercury poisoning here. I'll put your mind at ease. Let's see how much it would take. Can can tuna is low in mercury and is considered one of the best choices for individuals that need to limit their exposure. You're totally fine. Unless you were truly gluttonous and ate like 50 starkists, then you're probably fucked. Yeah, they don't give me an amount. You see the Suicide Squad leaks? From a while ago I did. If there were new ones, I did not see them, though. You think Suicide Squad will be bad? I do. I'm not expecting anything from it. I don't think it'll be very good. Love Jackie Chan movies. Any space news lately? Not that I've seen. I'm getting fucking tired now, though. Alright, I'm gonna call it a night. I think tomorrow might do a late stream and do bad games. We're filming another D&D &D episode tomorrow, so I think after that I'll come home and do bad games. But it'll probably be like 11 or 12. So it'll be a late one. Thanks for some slouching in the tier one bussy. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the generosity. Have a great rest of your night. Have a good evening. Sleep well, everyone. Bye-bye.